The Cavs, again, off to a three and four start. And they're already having those air it out meetings. It turns out that yesterday, you know, they had their big Halloween party a couple days ago. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, after their practice on Halloween, they or before their practice, excuse me, they had to have an air it out meeting to talk about the dysfunction already with the Cavs. And here is Kevin Love on that. Slow start that we've had prompted us to just all get on the same page and, uh, you know, kind of figure out what we need to do. Feel like we can get in in better shape, that's gonna help us on the defensive end. Uh, communication, energy, um, and just getting the new guys to, to um, you know, adjusted, well adjusted, and on the floor more time to go. So, time will tell. I don't understand this whole thing. They're all saying that they have to get in better shape. Like, did you not know that before the season started? Isn't that something that you do as a professional athlete? Why is this their big concern? This, the East is so bad, I watched last night. They, they could literally sleepwalk until, like, February. I watched last night for about 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Milwaukee's this hot new team. They weren't even competitive at home against OKC. If, the East is a pathetic. But if, okay, so you're just suggesting that they're kind of cakewalking. It's, it's, they're just but if that were the case, why are they having air it out meetings? You don't need to have yeah. a meeting then. I, we have meetings all the time. I, I don't, I think it's overplayed. Again, October NBA basketball. I think it, I, the best team in October is rarely ever been the best team in April, so I, I don't take anything. It, it gets dangerous, though. If the record's 3-4, and four, I admit they can definitely turn it around. If it's 3-13. and 13, They want to sleepwalk too much, that could wind up hurting them. You remember what I said about Ben Simmons on your set at, what? The, uh, at the Super Bowl two years ago? What? I said he was the best one and done. I said basketball is easy to him. He will be a star the second he plays. And he's also been helped out by the fact he had a red shirt year last year, which if Lonzo, you really wanted the best of Lonzo, he'd have a red shirt year this year. By the way, Piston head coach Stan Van Gundy, after losing to Lonzo last night, guys, court vision, incredible, special. Got to be back because if you think you're back and your guy's one step behind you, it'll be a dunk. He'll throw that thing 85 feet. I watched him last night. He's about seven rebounds, seven assists, 11 points a game. He still, his shot is not falling. But I watched them last night, Doug. I got to tell you, they pass the ball. He is changing that organization. They, they've... They're blown away by how coachable he is. Now, look, sometimes he's too passive. He has yeah. to understand the 24-second shot clock, that the first five or six seconds they get the basketball, that's when Lonzo can create something. And then he has to demand the basketball back at the end of the shot clock, and he has to be more aggressive going towards the basket because he's always prone to pass. And he has to understand, when you're, when you're a pass-first mentality, you still have to go in there to score and occasionally pass. But last night was the best version of Lonzo Ball. They, they beat a, uh, a pretty good team yeah. with, good, with good guards, very well coached defensively. And you're right, Lonzo is pushing the pace that you'll get your wings to run and other players like LeBron. Now, are you back on Team LeBron coming out to L.A. now? Let's check if we could, Sam, our, our director, Sam. Uh, let's check. Uh, by the way, LeBron, two of the last three tweets for LeBron, or LeBron, LeBron uh, uh, about Lonzo. Uh, the LeBronzo meter today, very fluid, uh, leaning, taking his talent. So the Cavs are falling apart. Yep. Player, got... Players only meeting in the first two weeks of the season. <laughs> no, good, didn't teams, like... good teams don't have players only meetings. <laughs> Nobody That's goes like, hey, everybody get together. You guys are awesome. All right, good, good meeting, good meeting. No it's, one does that. It's a sign that they're doing this this early. And by the way, LeBron's got now two of his last three tweets are about Lonzo. He's got Lonzo in one of his shows on his company, Uninterrupted. I'm just saying, the, if the Lakers can win 35 games and Lonzo, like Ingram last night was pretty good. Yeah. Then all of a sudden you sit there and it's like, um... And Cleveland, by the way, simultaneously is old, tired, and exhausted. Yes, and they're they're poorly constructed because we're making the assumption that you go from star, like Derrick Rose can be a star, and then all of a sudden in limited minutes be the same Derrick Rose. Dwayne Wade can be a su superstar, and in limited minutes can be the same uh, Dwayne Wade. That's really, really hard to do. Uh, it's the opposite of prorating your minutes, right? That's, that's a very difficult thing. But look, the Lakers, this is why you shouldn't have the early signing date in college sports because everything changes during a season, during the six and seven months of the season. Coaching staff change. More than anything, teams and players evolve. And what you're seeing from the Lakers is, you know, Luol Deng will probably never play another game with, with the yeah. Lakers. Uh, you know, Randall probably not back next year. But you have Kuzma, who eventually will be a starter. Yeah. Ingram, uh, Blonzo. In Ingram. And then you got, you know, Josh Hart will be yeah. a solid, consistent part of their, their bench. And so they're building up the core, and all they want is to – 
put in two superstars into the mix. And they'll be ready to go. And they will be ready to go. So I think you're prone to overreact to every individual game, which is crazy because you're not overreacting to the Cavs losing to the ne- to the uh, Knicks at home by 19, but you personally are overreacting when the Lakers play poorly or look like the young team that they actually are. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from the newest show on FS1, First Things First with Chris Carter and Nick Wright.